Hi everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are always your hosts, Jordan and Carlos. And today's episode is a little bit different uh, than the 23 episodes that you have already seen of our knit along, because we are starting the heel. And we want to take you through everything, and therefore you won't be seeing our faces until the end of the episode when we talk about the competition, right Arna? Yes, that's right. Because we want to do this so you understand it, like we want to do it Properly. Very properly. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what we've done now is we've completed the entire stocking. And if you haven't been paying attention and you just tune in today, you still have time to knit the stocking until December 24th. So just go to arnacottos.com slash blog and you can download the entire sock there. Yeah. The sock will remain a free pattern until December 1st. After that, you will have to pay for it. So we highly recommend that you download it today, which is November 24th. Um, and uh, then you'll have it for yeah. good. So let's look at the scrap yarn because this is where we're going to pick up the stitches to create the heel. So we are picking up stitches over the scrap yarn. So we'll go in in the legs on the stitch above and we're going to pick up stitches under. Yeah, and I've mentioned several times that this uh, scrap yarn that we placed uh, when we, you know, when we when we did the knit along together, we, when we placed this, uh, this scrap yarn, I did say that it was an imaginary line, like the equator or the Arctic Circle. Yeah. And now you will see why it's an imaginary line. Because on one side of the stocking, you have the scrap yarn and you have one row more than what you have on the other side. Yeah. But once we remove the scrap yarn, you will have the same amount of rows on both sides. And that's where the heel is coming in. It is. And... The reason why we leave the tail on the outside is that we find it more easy to find the first stitch because then you just pull the, the scrap yarn, you pull the tail and then you see there's the stitch. Mm -hmm. So let's start and pick up stitches. We can do, let's do above first. So you pick up in one leg. So one leg of each stitch. On each stitch. So like this. And it doesn't matter if you do the left leg or the right leg. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as it's one leg per stitch. Yeah. And you know, if you pick up a stitch and it comes on the needle twisted, you just knit in the back. Easy peasy. So you straighten, straighten up the stitch. Mm. So let's do 18 on each needle. So three, six, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And now you pick up a new needle and, and you... New needle. Next. Arna, this feels very nostalgic, doesn't it? It's been a while since we did a podcast like this. Have we done it a few times, haven't we? Oh, we did it quite a lot, uh, especially in 2018, 2017, 2018, and 2019. We used to do podcasts like this, where you would only see our hands, and then where we would talk. <laughs> kind of like being on radio, right? I, I, but you have a radio voice. I love the radio. I love the radio. <laughs> I listen to radio all the time. You listen to the radio all the time. I would love to have my own show on the radio. Yeah, I think I would do should. pretty well with that. <laughs> no, because you learn a lot listening to radio. Yeah, the cool thing about radio is you you know you have you can't really see us. You're only listening to our voice, so you kind of have to describe things yeah. in a way that people can get images in their head. You have to put images in people's you're, heads. You're painting pictures. Painting pictures. Yeah. Well, obviously everybody is looking at you. Pick up the 18 stitches per needle, which you have done on the one side, and yeah. now now I'm going to do the other side, and you see you have you have the scrap yarn, so you know where the first stitch is. So that is this one. Mm. So then you do the same under and you can pick any leg. So just now I'm going to pick up all the stitches and then we take out the scrap yarn and then we will see if mm. the stitches are twisted or not. But Carlos, I can't remember what did we actually talk about that back then? When we oh, did. we talked about all sorts of things. I mean... No, I don't mean what we talked about. That was the wrong question. I was wondering, what uh, did we do when people saw our hands? I oh, we did quite a we... lot of things. We did a hat from beginning to end. Was that one of those? Yeah, it was one of those with thick yarn. And then we did the flowers. We crocheted flowers from beginning to end. Yeah. And I remember that one got a lot of views and people were 
some people were not happy because you were going too fast, obviously. But yeah, the thing but there's the, the wheel you can yeah exactly slow things down. But back then the whole point was not it was not a tutorial, and we would say this is not a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. This is just a podcast where you can actually see some work being done. Uh, you know, except. Um, some people, when they logged on to that video, um, because we did get a lot of people on that, we got a lot of views, and a lot of people didn't know who we were, so they were thinking it was a tutorial when it, uh, yeah. in fact, wasn't. Which is, um, you know, this time around, it is actually a tutorial I and hope, a podcast. Hope this is not too fast. No, but you're also... I can't do this faster. No, but you're also telling people what you're doing, which yeah. is the whole point. Um, if you're a new beginner and you never did this heel before, um, we are showing you step by step. So we're getting you through this process. Yes. Um, Luckily, and... it's not crocheting because crochet language is really difficult. Yeah. Because it's different in American English and English English. I struggle with that. Mm. So anyway, this is a guideline. We're showing you what you're going to do. And even today, you can go to arnacarlos.com slash blog and pick up the written instructions yeah. for the heel. There's also going to be, uh, there's also going to be some knitting of the heel today. And uh, do a few rounds just to get you started and explain. Yeah. And you remember when you did the toe, yeah. you started from zero and you increased your way up to the number of stitches you have, um, which is 18 per needle. And now you're going to do the exact same thing as you did on the toe, but decreasing. Yes. So, uh, I mean, it is quite a brilliant way of putting in a heel. Yeah, this is one of my favorite heels because it's, it's easy. easy and it makes a really nice heel. Yeah. Six, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, one more. And we, we actually call this heel the, or this kind of sock, the easiest sock in the world because it is. This is the best heel for a new beginner yeah and then once you've mastered this one you can knit any, any any sock you want and then once you've knitted a lot of socks you can look into turning heels in short rows for example and see now we have the heel on four needles mm. and there's 18 stitches on each and if you have missed the stitch or picked the wrong one it's easy to fix when you start knitting yep. because then you see what you've done wrong and now, friends, no. there's going to be some magic here. We are going to remove the imaginary line and everything is going back to what it was. Yes. So, so there will be the same amount of rows on, on both sides of the hole. Now you take the scrap yarn out. Sometimes you have to cut it every now and then because it gets stuck in the mm, wool. Yeah. Because it's wool. And the thread getting is getting longer and longer, so mm -hmm. sometimes it's just good. I don't have a scissor here. Maybe I have one in, have one the, in magic the, the magic drawer. Let me see. Or there's one behind you. Oh, oh, there is one behind me. Oh, this is our uh, good fabric scissor, which I think you can use for yarn as well. There you go. And if it has a problem, we bring it to the people who oh. sharpen them. Look at this. I just found a seam ripper, which is what I was looking That's for. That's a good one. This is a very good one, yeah. Okay, so now we are opening the heel. Mm. And as I said one be once before, when I grew up, I think this was the first heel I made because uh, I didn't have to think. And because it's so easy, really. Yeah. Well, I mean, it really is the easiest sock in the world. My mother showed me the heel flap, but then again, you have to pick up stitches on the side of the flap, and there's a lot of things you have to remember. So. I did this one, and I found a pattern for this, I remember, in a, a magazine. Mm -hmm. And it, one of those big women magazines, and that was probably, must have been in the 70s, maybe. And in the magazine, they called it the Russian heel, mm -hmm. but it's also called the afterthought heel. Yeah. Or the easiest sock in the world. The easiest sock in the world. Which is how we call it. That's what we call it. <laughs> because it is the easiest one. Yeah. So the stitches are being removed. So that's, uh, it's kind of like when you cross the Arctic Circle, Arne. Yeah. It, isn't it? You never know where it is. Yeah. Well, there's a, there's a ball. There's a ball. And they tell you, and they tell you that you cross the Arctic Circle. And then when you're on the other side, nothing really happens. Yeah. You're still the same person. You don't feel anything. No. And it's the same here. I mean, we're just crossing the Arctic Circle in, in, in a sock. 
Well, you can feel it if, if you go on the Hilferturuten cruises with us. Because oh, yeah, they have that ceremony. They have the ceremony where, uh, what's it called? Neptune is coming and he... he is... Jumps in the ice. No, it's not Neptune. Neptune. He's called Njol. No, okay, it's something from the ocean. And it's a, it's a, uh, it's a Norse god. Yeah, and he is. Uh, he shoves ice you. down your sweater. Some people do. I never. I don't even. You know, that's the funny thing. They, um, they shove ice down the sweater, and then they give you a schnapps. And there's a line. <laughs> line. Down. I mean, I would never get in line to get ice shoved down my sweater. I can tell you that. I like my comfort. I like living comfortable and getting ice down my sweater is not, you know, comfortable. I see those lines. There's like 50 people in line for that. And I'm like, what the hell? I think I saw it once. I went out and I went up on the balcony. I was looking down at them because I didn't dare going down there. And people line up for it. I could never do that. But you're talking, talking about doing the dip when we go to Swalbard. I'm considering taking my swimming trunks with me. And I, I, can, I think I may do the Arctic dip. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not sure. <laughs> Our Agita, who used to travel with us, she did it in the Olsen, and I was looking out for the polar bears. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Sharks, maybe. But <laughs> they make you sign a release form, and there's a defibrillator <laughs> next, to, next to the shore. Yeah. So, you know, it might be telling you something. Um, that you probably shouldn't do. That you probably, healthy. yeah. So, but I, I think I'm healthy. Yeah, I don't want to find out if I'm healthy or not <laughs> in the middle well, of not that way. ice ocean. No. Yeah. So now we are almost finished. Yep, and very exciting. Long tread. We are getting a home. It looks like I got all the pictures on the needles. So see now, hmm. now the sock is opened and this is what we were talking about that that pattern that is in the middle there where the heel is is split on one side and then on the other side uh, it's not so the heel is going to come in between those two patterns and it's going to look really nice <laughs> i'm sorry and what color do you think we're going to put on the heel what's more Mm, it could be red it could be green it could be white it's green yeah <laughs> 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 I yeah. think it has to be green because of yeah. um, of course, and, and also we did the ribbing and the toe green, so it kind of makes sense to do uh, to do the heel green as well. But listen, people, mm -hmm. we are not dictators. You can put any color. If you want to put pink, hot pink, go ahead, or or a pattern. If you want to do red, go ahead. It is really up to anybody, and uh, we won't be offended. We promise, we will not be offended if you choose to customize your sock. Actually, we love it when people are creative. So, uh, and if you do, if you do something outrageous, do hashtag us at Arne so Carlos. We can see it. Yeah, yeah, hashtag Arne Carlos on Instagram or Facebook, so we can see what it looks like. So, see now, I start knitting, and I like to keep the tail on the outside. There's no reason. Well, there's a reason because then I can pull the first stitches if they yeah. if they get a little bit loose. So now. You have to knit the first round, and you see on these stitches, they are twisted. So normally a stitch would be like that on the needle, but when I <coughs> pick them up, they're twisted. So you knit in the back. If you knit it a lot, this goes automatically because you see it mm -hmm. at once. If it's the first time, you have to keep an eye on this because if you knit it, like normally, you twist the stitch. Yeah. So you see now. You get a little twist on the stitch if you go that way. So you have to go in the back like this. Exactly. Now this heel is not perfect because nothing in life is perfect. So now that Arne starts knitting the heel, something may happen yeah. that uh, we want to work on as well. And it is that when you start knitting and you go from needle to needle, especially on the sides of the hole. Yeah, it's actually you, on the side. Yeah, you may, get, you may get a big hole. And if we get that hole, we're going to show you what to do. I think even if we don't get it, Arne, we should show people. But probably we will because yeah. it is unavoidable. But you know, sometimes... We haven't got it and I have no clue. And see, that one stitch dropped off the needle, so I just pick it up and put 
the yarn back. So you see, it, if you miss a stitch, it's easy. And that one is correct. So, and that, that can happen. And see, this, these stitches, they came the right way. So this, I don't know why, but that happens. But, and that, that's a twisted one again. Hmm. So now you are going around to okay. the other side, and then we'll see about that whole situation. And it is normal, so don't, you know, don't panic if you get those holes, because we're going to yeah. show you how to fix it. So you see now we have knitted two stitches, two needles, so this is where there can be a hole. Mm. And sometimes there is no hole, and sometimes there are holes. Sometimes you get it on one side, but not on the other. Yeah. Sometimes you get it on both sides. So now I'm under the scrap yarns to see if I have the right number again. Three, six, ten. One, two, three, four. That's one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's not the stitch. So. And um, luckily, this one has only one color, so it's easy. Yeah. It's a bit harder if you have a pattern. Yeah. Or one of those. This one has to tw go over the needle to catch. You mean like if you have a sock yarn? No, if pattern? you have a pattern in the... Um, oh, in the heel. In the, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's well, a lot of stitches in different colors, then it can be harder. But don't we usually do a row of, of um, solid color uh, on purpose? Most of the time we do. Yeah. But... Uh, Sometimes we don't. I have made like holes like or what do you say or afterthought heels where there were patterns so you have to pick up different colors and that can be difficult sometimes. Yeah which is why we try to avoid that we when we design it. socks and stockings especially. On this one also they are twisted so you knit in the back. Hmm. But you don't have to think about that you don't have to like do all you can in the world just to get the stitch right on the needle because you have the possibility to knit in the back. So mm. the feet of the T, that's the right number. But it's good to check the numbers every now and then in case. Yep, it's you always have good to do that. Picked up a wrong thing, or maybe you picked up some something in between, or you never know. Mm. But you see it when you knit, so it's it's very easy. Absolutely, yeah. So all these are twisted. Ooh. No, but it's not a problem. No, no, no. I'm just mean ooh. Because you just pick up a leg. You don't have to think. So it's not like you have to get them the right way mm. on the needle. It doesn't make any difference anyway because you, you have the possibility to knit in the back or in the front. Yeah. So, so then we have done one round. And then you do the first round with decreases. And now you see when Arne puts those two needles together. Yeah, so on this side, there, really, there is a hole. There's a hole because. Yay! You, you I have, mean, <laughs> yay. usually we don't want a hole there, but now we do because we want to show you what to do. Yeah, but you, on this side, it's easy because you have the tail, so you can actually pull the tail. Pull the tail. And I'm holding on to the tail now when I do the first stitch. Because that stitch will always be so a little pull bit the thin. tail. In case of an emergency, pull, pull the, the tail. That's what I usually say. So let's see now if we knit over there. You see, this this for me, this is a little bit loose. Yeah. So, so we can fix it on the next round. So we'll have to fix it on the back. Yeah. On the next round. And then you knit to the end of the needle. And when you have three stitches left, you knit two together. And then you knit one. So now it's very important two when together and one. So when you do this, it's very important that you also check the toe because you want the decreases um, on the same place as yeah, the increase. Yeah, because uh, we increased in the end of the needle, so that's why we decrease in the end of the needle on the. Yeah, you want to just make sure that they are on the same side, so that. Yeah. So. There, three left and two together. And then this side, this is the one where you 
normally have to fix. Someone wrote once, we said, talked about this, that they never had a hole and didn't Good for that. understand what we were talking about. But uh, then I don't know what you're doing. Actually. Well, if they never have a hole, then they don't really need to care about what we're talking about. You know <laughs> what I mean? Uh, but, you know, some people, they still want to, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. It's like, but see, this is too loose for me. So this we will fix. Yeah. So there's going to be a hole on that side too. Yeah. So you see, this time we get holes on both sides. Yeah. Sometimes we don't. But Sometimes I don't know we what, do. what we do when we don't get it. I have no clue. But you know no. where you start, you always have to do something because you have that tail hanging there. It could it could be many factors. Probably even when you're when you're cutting and pulling the yarn. Or maybe the, the strap uh, yarn. Maybe you're a very stressed that day, so you're a tighter knitter. That, that could day. be that could be a thing. You tighten up everything. Although I am a very tight knitter and I always get holes, so I don't think that's the, <laughs> I don't think that's the problem, honestly. So, okay, so the last needle now, two together, and exciting. Yes, and pull the string, and yeah, that is a bit open. I think we should do the knit round first because you do every other round is knit and the other, and. Every other is a decrease. Right? Every other is a decrease in the beginning. Yeah. It's a little bit different at the end, but that that we can talk about. Or you will see it in the pattern because we're not finishing finishing the whole heel today. No, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. We've got so we one talk more about day. That tomorrow. Yeah. So tomorrow is the last day of the knit. You're gonna knit a round now, right? I'm gonna knit one round and then we can um, Yeah, so let's let's knit the round and we'll just talk about other things. I think maybe I should lift one on this side because on this side it's easier. Okay. So do that and then we'll talk a little bit about so I'll show you how we lift. Yep. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. So just as we did last year, this uh, this heel is we're doing it over two days. So hopefully by tomorrow, which is also the last day of the knit along, you will be all clear on everything you need to know. Yeah. So see now, if you have something like this, and you find that annoying, what you do is you go to the back and you pull a leg. See, if I pull that leg, but you have to try different legs, but this one tightens up the hole. So I put that on the needle, next needle, so I can knit the leg together with the first stitch. Yeah, don't forget to do that, because if you just pull a leg and put it on the needle and then keep knitting, you're going to increase. Then you have one extra needle. So you don't want that. No. So knit the leg that you've just pulled together with see. another stitch. The hole is gone. Magic. It's magic. It's magic. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. Remember. Pull the yarn, put it on the needle, and knit it together with a stitch. Yeah, and if you still are not happy, you can still pull a leg on the next round. Yeah. Until you're happy. Sometimes if you get a really loose hole, yeah. you have to pull the, um, you pull the yarn on the, on the needle. You knit it with the next stitch, and it's still going to be loose. And what happens is when you go back, or when you knit, the round and finish when you start a new round you can then grab the same one and pull it up again yeah. and then knit it with another stitch so you can actually you can actually pull that one up as many times as you need until the holes completely closed yes so if it doesn't work on the first row try it on the next try one on again the next one. and again and again and again so let's uh, look at this one before we stop or before we talk about something else but i feel like when I weave this in, I will fill the hole, but I still think that I can actually lift a leg just to be sure. So I lift that one. Mm. And then I'm on a decrease round again. And I think that's all you need to know yeah. so far. And, and um, see? Yeah, looking Perfect. good. Looking good. And if you think this is too fast, you can slow it down. There's a wheel on uh, YouTube mm. where you can slow things down. Then you probably should turn the sound off because then we will talk like... Right.
Yeah. So, um, uh, <laughs> exactly. Um, you don't want that. Oh, I forgot to decrease. I shouldn't talk and knit at the same time. Okay. This is a decrease round. But it's good, Arne. It's good that you show your human side, you know, so yeah. people understand that you're not, you're not um, a magician and that you are just as everybody else and I make mistakes sometimes. I make a lot of mistakes, but I do know how to fix them. Yeah. Or I don't care. Mm. So yeah, this yeah. has been, this has been, uh, I think that this heel will, will uh, be perfect for uh, the group of knitters that we have yeah. joining this knit along that, who have been with us since the beginning. Last year, um, I think that some people were quite discouraged, uh, especially because the heel came on day eight and nine. Yeah. And the good thing about trying these things is that you can always fix them next year. There's always next year for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. So um, usually we don't like repeating things that we've done before again, but we felt that this year we wanted to do a stocking a second time and we wanted to guarantee that everybody would get through the whole thing. Yeah. And wow, look at that. It's... And, and there's one thing, remember, it doesn't matter if you start in this corner or in that corner. Yeah. As long as you start in a corner, on, in the corner on the side mm. of your stocking. Yeah. Stocking. That's what I meant previously yeah. when I said make sure that the that everything aligns with the toe as well, so that yeah, it's all correct. So I think we should go to the competition. Oh, you <laughs> I don't know already. Do. Well, let, let's let's just do a, a few more a few more points before okay. we go. Okay, I can knit a few rounds yeah. then, while you do the point. Well, not a few rounds, but uh, <laughs> or a round we we do we do uh, we do have one day left, which means that this knit along is coming to an end, and it is always sad when we have to finish something up. But you know, finishing one thing means we can start with. Um, with something new yeah. and uh, we are soon getting into December which is uh, Christmas season it is. and uh, we haven't re revealed what we'll be doing um, this December and I think that we won't uh, as we'd rather keep it as a surprise yeah so uh, you just got to tune in on the first of Advent which I think this year does coincide with the Sunday. It we is the Sunday. Yeah, we usually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. I have checked it. Oh, sorry. The first of Advent is always a it's Sunday. It's always a Sunday. But this year, the first of Advent is also the first, first of December. It is. That's what I. That's what I meant. So sorry. Of course, first of Advent is on a Sunday. So you just right after you finish the sock, we have the first Advent. Yeah. So tune in on December first to see what we'll be doing in December. Um, and we hope that you will enjoy that as well. Yeah, more shenanigans. More shenanigans, yeah. But it's been great fun. I mean, we're still, we still have one day, so I'm not going to give a big farewell speech right now. But we do hope, we do hope people, you people have enjoyed this. Uh, we hope that you have uh, been very active in the, in the comments. Uh, because this is pre-recorded, we don't know at the moment. But I feel that it's going to be really good. I think that people are going to be very active in the comments and that they're going to help each other and that there's going to be a spirit of a very inclusive and wonderful community here yeah. uh, in our channel, but which is what we, we want. But I think we have to, I think after this, I think we have to post the whole heel so people can knit, continue knitting if they want to, because it's, it's one pattern. It's just, oh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. you could just explain why we have, is more decreasing at the end. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll, we'll post... So uh, just knit it and we can right. explain why you did it. So, exactly. So we'll post the whole heel yeah. from beginning to end today. So once we finish the podcast, you can go get the pattern for the heel, which means that today, on the 24th of November, the whole stocking is complete. It is, and, and then you, you can, have one extra day to download. Right, and you can now download. You do not have to. So if you're just popping in here and you haven't been participating in the, in the knit along, that's okay. We'll still let you download the, the sock for free, the stocking for free. <laughs> How can we come uh, <laughs> but the, the good thing for you to know is that you don't have to go back to December 1st. No. Or sorry, to November 1st or episode 1st. And you don't have to download every single episode. Just go to the final episode, which is December, oh, sorry, November 24th. The fact that we're pre recording this another time of the year. It actually makes it even more confusing. Go to the episode 24, which is posted on November 24 of 2024. So there's a lot of 24s here. Um, go there and you can download the full sock or Christmas stocking, including the heel, 
and all the instructions you need, plus the entire chart. Yes. And this chart will now remain uh, for free until Sunday, December 1st. So on Sunday, when the clock strikes midnight, <laughs> so that means you have until November 30th at 11.59 to download the stock stocking. After that, it will be available, but it will be a paid pattern. And we hope that you will respect this, um, the fact that it becomes a paid pattern. And if <laughs> yeah. you don't download it on time, it's on you. It's not on us. And don't send no, hate. There's no point in sending us hate mail, okay? <laughs> because we, sometimes we do get it. And oh, we yeah. We don't want it. We don't answer it. We do not answer any mail like that. So there you, there you have it. Now you know. It, we, it's been a pleasure doing this uh, knit along for free. And uh, we do hope that you've all enjoyed it. Um, but it's not the final farewell. The final farewell <laughs> will come tomorrow. But Arne, um, is there anything else you would like to add today? Or shall we conclude tomorrow? I think we should conclude tomorrow. There's not much more to say, actually. Except Unless you talk and knit and you forget to decrease on one round and mm. you just do it on the next. So why don't we just go to the competition then? I think then? we should go to the competition now. So we've got a really cool competition running this year uh, where we will randomly select a lucky winner who will win uh, our latest uh, e-booklet that we have done for Rowan uh, and enough of the Rowan Norwegian wool yarn to knit one of the sweaters from this uh, e-booklet in any size they want. Yeah, and the uh, inspiration for this collection is Svalbard. So we have the husky sweater, we have the dog sledge, we have cables and we have polar bears. And the only thing you have to do is to answer this question. How many books have we published? Yep, that's the question uh, for this year. And uh, we want you to put the answer in the comments down below. It's a number we're looking for. And we're going to give you a little hint. Uh, Wikipedia is not um, a reliable source. Uh, so you may want to look elsewhere if you want to get the correct answer. Yeah. And uh, you can put the answer down preferably once uh, per day. Uh, during this knit along and that will increase uh, your chances but please do not put the answer more than once per day because then you will be ghosted by YouTube <laughs> and you do not want that to happen <laughs> so once a day is pretty much enough yeah. and uh, we will announce the lucky winner um, in December so this will be um, a fine Christmas well one person will get a really fine Christmas prezi from Arne and me in the post as yes. well so remember to like and subscribe and if you're a subscriber put on that notification bell because then you won't miss an episode yep and make sure to interact with our content as that really helps us here on YouTube and uh, last but not least uh, for additional content uh, make sure to look at the uh, offer that we have for members uh, becoming a member means that you will get uh, 15 minute catch-ups with us every week uh, we do live streams where we offer our knitting help and expertise we've got Chanel shenanigans in the kitchen and shenanigans well actually <laughs> shenanigans pretty much wherever we go um, and then there's fun uh, things like badges and emojis and other kind of content like that so um, if you want to become a member or if you want to consider it all you need to do is visit our channel at Arne Carlos go to the subscribe button and next to the subscribe button you've got a join button join uh, by clicking and then selecting your tier and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you uh, for that additional content as well. And if not, it's perfectly okay. We look forward to seeing you here every day uh, for our knit along and then for our usual episodes on Sundays. Yes. Yeah. So. so thank you for watching and we will catch up with you very, very soon again. Bye. Bye.